During his 20-year career in the U.S. Air Force, Dan Hampton conducted 151 assault flights piloting F-16 jets. He says that even though Ukraine is likely to receive an older model of the fighter jet, the F-16 could still be a battlefield game-changer for the Ukrainian Air Force. One of the wonderful things about the airplane is, is it's very easy to upgrade with more advanced avionics, electronics, radars. Russian-made airplanes don't have anything like that. And if they're flown by Western pilots or Western-trained pilots, then that's an even bigger advantage because we don't fly like the Russians and we don't train people that way. Hampton had encouraged the U.S. to send F-16 jets to Ukraine back in the spring of 2022 and was frustrated it took the U.S. so long to approve Western allies sending F-16s to Ukraine. Philip Breedlove, NATO's top commander from 2013 to 2016 and a former F-16 pilot, says the jets could help Ukraine conduct ground operations. The beauty of these multi-role aircraft is that once they establish that air superiority over our troops so that our troops can do modern maneuver warfare, which requires battlefield air superiority, once they can do that modern maneuver warfare, then the F-16 swings into being an extremely capable weapon at supporting maneuver on the ground. Austrian military expert Gustav Gressel says that Russia's latest mass air attacks on Ukrainian cities have shown that Ukraine's air defense systems work very effectively and that the ongoing war has demonstrated how crucial Western fighter jets might be in Ukraine. The problem, of course, with uh, existing fighters in Ukraine with uh, Su-27 and MiG-29 uh, is not so much the aircraft but the ammunition. Uh, the most of the rockets um, and missiles uh, these aircrafts fire are produced in Russia and it's very hard to get them. So if uh, Ukraine uh, continues to intercept uh, such targets with fighters, it would need Western fighters to fire Western missiles from. Hampton says to efficiently fend off Russian attacks, Ukraine will need about 36 to 40 F-16 jets. Ukraine has been promised about 60 by Western governments. Since the plane is historically so reliable, he explains, Ukraine doesn't need a huge number of them. So if you had, you know, 40 airplanes, an F-16, you know, group of 40 airplanes, you could conceivably have 30 then that were ready to fly right now. The rest are going through maintenance or upgrades or something's wrong and they need to fix it. It's a very reliable airplane, so it has a very high, what we call a mission-capable rate, compared to other airplanes. According to Western military officials, Ukrainian pilots are currently being trained to operate the jets in Denmark and England. But it's unclear when they will be ready to pilot the jets. It's also unclear when the jets will be delivered to Kiev. For Maria Prus in Washington, NRI's VOA News.